We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Tariq Sultan, who is a member for finance for the Pakistan Telecommunication Authority. Mr. Sultan, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. Now, this conference happens every four years. It's a very important conference uh, in uh, the telecommunication development calendar. I wanted to find out from you, why is this conference important to you? Um, well, first of all, it's my first time that I'm attending any ITU event. So it, is, it was very, very informative for me. And uh, uh, it's uh, so exciting to see that there is an opportunity of meeting so many people from you know, so many different countries uh, in one place. Um, then I, I think the WTDC is, uh, is important because um, it gives an opportunity to uh, the representatives from all the member countries to raise various issues that they're facing in their countries uh, on various telecom matters and uh, uh, even make suggestions, comments uh, and uh, the, the working papers that are there uh, in the, to be discussed in the WTDC, they have an opportunity to contribute to that. And um, the WTDC 14 is particularly important because uh, the theme it has selected this time, the sustainable development, uh, broadband for sustainable development, uh, I think uh, uh, it's very important for those countries which have not yet achieved uh, significant uh, prolifer proliferation in the broadband segment that they can uh, learn from uh, the experiences of other countries and from the outcomes of WTDC. And also for those countries uh, which have achieved significant growth in broadband, but still they are facing various issues on which they want deliberation to be, take, to be uh, uh, taken place at the WTDC. What kind of challenges and opportunities are there in Pakistan at the moment with regards to broadband? In the broadband segment of Pakistan, the, although we have achieved uh, very good growth in the last uh, two, three years, but the uh, absolute number is still uh, very little. But uh, with the uh, uh, auction of 3G and 4G spectrum, or the spectrum for next generation mobile services, that Pakistan is currently in the process of uh, doing, uh, the auction is uh, scheduled to be held on the 23rd of April. And um, the last date for receiving applications for that from the prospective bidders is uh, 14th of April. Uh, more spectrum will be available to the operators, and mobile broadband will be, uh, will be available and you know, new services will be offered. And with that, I think the growth will take place. Uh, a lot of growth will take place. Um, I was reading a paper, uh, TD43, for this, uh, this particular conference. And in, uh, in that paper, the Arab states have made a proposal of, uh, to, to uh, WTDC to add three items in uh, Annexure 1 of the Resolution 9, uh, which included uh, one, of, one of the three items was uh, spectrum free. Um, efficient use of spectrum and uh, in, in there they mentioned two items one was uh, spectrum trading and the other was uh, dynamic spectrum access uh, now I, I think it's a very important uh, topic uh, that should be deliberated at the WTDC level uh, that whether uh, uh, spectrum trading uh, would be beneficial overall for the telecom companies and the governments all over the world because it might also offer an arbitra arbitrage opportunity to an investor who may not be uh, into the telecom business and may not be uh, really looking to roll out networks and offer services, but uh, may just want to you know, uh, get the spectrum and, and trade it. Um, because it will be suboptimal use of the spectrum, uh, because in, in, in uh, that case, the rollout of the services, uh, offering of services will be delayed. Uh, the real objective of uh, the efficient use of the spectrum is to provide services to the public uh, and who are, I think, in my view, are the real owners of the spectrum. It's a public resource. And finally, very briefly, what outcomes do you hope will come from this conference? Um, my understanding is that uh, the WTDC does not come out with any final acts. Um, it, uh, its conclusions are in the form of resolutions and submissions or decisions. Uh, which then you know, um, are, are used uh, in the development of a program, uh, work programs of WTDC for the next four years for the development of the telecom sector. So I, uh, although um, uh, I didn't have any specific expectation in mind, but I, um, I'm hoping and I'm sure that uh, from these deliberations and this conference, 
uh, all these issues that have been raised by various countries and which are mentioned in the working papers, that certain solutions will come out which will help the member countries resolve some of their issues. Mr. Sultan, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. And thank you for watching too.